Det är Thomas från Att Gates. Upp med hornen. We're inside Webster Hall in New York City. The Decibel Magazine tour is wrapping up today here in New York City. We're here with Thomas from At The Gates, man. Welcome back to New York, brother. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. The last few shows you did here was at Irving Plaza, back-to-back -back shows. In my opinion, some of the best concerts that have ever happened. So hopefully tonight it will be like, you know, I, th I think you said that level pretty high up last time. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, but I will try to top it. You know, there's been some good shows on this tour for sure. <laughs> what, what are the standouts, the ones that you remember? You're like, oh my God, those were crazy shows. I, I mean, all shows on this tour have been very, very good, very good, actually. It's, uh, I think that's the, the whole thing with it, that the standard is like on a certain level all nights. But I mean, the sold out shows will always be the best ones. San Francisco, um, Boston, Philly. These, these shows are, you know, like, they are really packed. They will always be there, you know. Right. Always in the heart. And uh, how is the dynamic of the band nowadays that, you know, when we spoke about the record, you said the dynamic in the studio was great. Is that transmitting when you're, you know, behind the scenes, when you're hanging out, is that still there? Definitely, definitely. That's why we can do this. I mean, we are all, you know, in our 40 plus years and uh, to be able to tour you know, and, and, and playing death metal, 90 minutes of death metal every night, you really have to enjoy it every second of it. And we do. We, we love each other's company. We have a great time. We hang out. We take it easy. What are some of the things you guys do together outside of the music? Uh, on tour. Yes. I mean, yeah, we eat breakfast. <laughs> we love American breakfast. Yeah. So it's definitely some pounds gained on this tour. <laughs> now we, we do that and we, you know, we, we go book shopping. We, we just hang out really. We just try to, you know, try to make the best of it. I mean, there's no, not so much downtime on a tour. You, you're pretty much doing stuff all the time. What is the first thing you're going to do when you get home? Well, I'm going to hang out with the family, of course. That's the first thing for sure. And then I'm going to probably sleep <laughs> for quite some time. Get finally some decent sleep. Yeah, definitely. I, don't, I work the next day, so, <laughs> you know. Right, right. You told me last time that you're a teacher. Yeah. So you're going back next week to the teaching, yeah, yeah. Right. social studies, right? Yeah. I arrive, I arrive home on Tuesday, and on Wednesday I'm at work. <laughs> and it's going to be a completely different world, man. That's crazy. Yeah, but I like that. I like that. It's a like that balance? Yeah, def definitely. It keeps your feet on the ground, for sure. And uh, do the kids know who you are? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, I'm the same person here as I am there, so they, they, they you know, it's cool. <laughs> what are some of the parallels between teaching and singing? I guess like being at the center of attention for people, which is kind of like weirdly a thing that I, if I would describe myself as a person, not something I like really, but I'm hopefully quite good at it, <laughs> you know, to try to grasp people, you know, try to get to people's attention. Right, teach the kids a good lesson and then teach the fans a good lesson as well as far as kind what? Of, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like you know, have to have control over a room in a way, classroom or, or, or a hall like this. You have, you have you have the whole audience, you have to try to control, control the emotional aspect of the whole show. It's quite hard actually. When you were starting out, who were some of the front men that you were like, all right, those guys know how to own a room? Well, definitely uh, Rob Halford was one of them, uh, and Udo Dickschneider as well. Uh, all the old, you know, heavy metal singers, they really had that. Uh, Bruce Dickinson as well. Um, really try to capture the audience. Hetfield had it uh, as well, a lot in the beginning. I think he probably still has, I haven't seen him for a while, but I mean, those Master Puppets tours, he really, you know, was in contact with the, with the crowd there. Uh, a lot of good, lot of good uh, metal frontmen. Do you remember your very first concert as a fan? Yeah, there was a Swedish uh, heavy metal band called 220 Volt. Uh, they played the, the theme park in Gothenburg, actually. <laughs> and I was uh, 13, I think, when I went to that show. You check them out, 220 Volt. You can probably find them on Spotify yeah. or something. <laughs> Pretty cheesy hard rock, but, you know, good, good stuff. And what was the first concert you played as a musician? Uh, it was actually in um, youth youth club um, pretty close to where I work now as a, as a teacher actually in the suburbs uh, or like in the projects um, <clears throat> and it was with Grotesque my, my first band and I was 15 and a half years old <laughs> yeah a long time ago a long time ago <laughs> hey man if you could go into a time machine into any era of music any concert in history that you're like oh I would have loved to be in there what would be that moment Oh, there's, there's a lot of them, isn't it? <laughs> it's hard, hard to say almost, but uh, I would have loved to be part of any of the Bay Area shows in, the, in those days. Maybe like when Slayer came down to the Bay Area, one of the like Slayer Exodus shows then, you know? Or like, oh, the, oh, the Ultimate Revenge Show with Venom, Slayer and Exodus. That would be amazing, <laughs> right? Yeah. 
that, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one? <laughs> and what's coming up for you guys after these tours? Is there anything planned right now? Yeah, yeah, we, we are booked until <laughs> 2016 so far. You know, we have a lot of European festivals coming up now in the summer. We're doing Australia, we're doing South America. We're doing South Africa for the first time, actually. It's going to be interesting. And I mean, all the festivals, it's like, I think it's like 15 or 16 festivals booked in the summer in, in, in Europe. So it's a lot of stuff, but it's, it's good fun. Do you get overwhelmed when you get your itinerary at the beginning of the year? You're like, all right, this is what, you know, it's going to happen this year. Especially well, after, you know, a few years that you guys didn't do this. Yeah, it, it, but it keeps adding. So it's like, you don't get it all at once. It keeps yeah. like, it keeps adding. So you, and we say yes to most of it right now because we kind of on a roll right now. <laughs> right, you have a new record that you want to make sure people yeah, listen yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. And we, you know, it's, we have so much fun. We don't want to say no, you know. <laughs> That's what it's all about, man. I think uh, when bands are united, there's always that fear that they're doing it for the money. But with, with especially with the record, everything behind, and now with the tour, I feel that you guys did it for the right reasons, which is because you guys want to play music as friends, as brothers. Yeah. It's, it's the same reason we always had. Of course, it's a t totally different level. It's a higher level right now, but it's, the reasons are still the same. It is. It's easier now, you know, because we have higher standards of, of touring, you know, whatever. But it's still the same thing. You get, you get some more comfort than if you would be in the yeah. van, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But I mean, that's what you get, those 20 years, <laughs> you have to gain something, right? Exactly. Yeah. All right, yeah. brother, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Have a great show, safe travels back home, and thank make you, sure those kids listen when you're teaching them some good uh, knowledge right there. I will, man. Thanks, thank brother. you very much. Live, rejoice, rejoice to carry on.